Lee Min Ho born June 22, 1987 is a South Korean actor, singer, model, creative director, and businessman. He gained widespread fame worldwide with his role as Gu Jun Pyo in Boys Over Flowers in 2009 which also earned him the Best New Actor Award at the 45th Baek Sang Arts Awards. His notable lead roles in television series include Personal Taste in 2010, City Hunter in 2011, The Ears in 2013, Legend of the Blue Sea in 2016 and The King, Eternal Monarch in 2020 and it grossed 135 million US dollars. Apart from his television career, Lee featured in the first lead role in the film Gangnam Blues in 2015. This was followed by his first China-produced film Bounty Hunters in 2016, and the mini-romance web series Line Romance in 2014, both collectively grossed 51 million US dollars. The success of Lee television series established him as a top Hallyu star, he is the most followed South Korean actor on social media. Lee became the first Korean celebrity to have a wax figure made in his image at Madame Tussauds, with figures being unveiled in Shanghai in 2013, and Hong Kong in 2014. He earns 2.5 million US dollars from product endorsements alone. Birth name, Lee Min Ho. Birthplace, Hyuk Dong, Dong Jack Gu, Seoul. Birth date, June 22, 1987. Birth sign, Cancer. Nationality, South Korean. Blood type, Type A. Height, 187 centimeters. Weight, 69 kilograms. Early life and education. Lee was born in Hyukseok Dong, Dong Jakgu, Seoul. As a child, Lee had hoped to become a professional football player. He was selected for the youth football class of South Korean manager and former professional player Cha Bum Kun, but an injury during his fifth grade of elementary school put an end to his aspiration. In his second year of high school, Lee turned to acting. He completed majors in film and art at Konkuk University. Personal Life Lee has an elder sister, Lee Yong Jung, who is the CEO of his current agency MYM Entertainment. YouTube Channel Lee Min Ho launched the YouTube channel Lee Min Ho Film where he is also the creative director for it. Media Influence As of October 2020, Lee has over 3 million followers on Twitter, 23 million followers on Weibo and was the first Korean celebrity to garner 20 million followers on both Instagram and Facebook. In 2014 and 2015, Lee topped an online poll organized by a Chinese entertainment magazine and was voted as the Asian male god. In 2017, Lee was chosen as the most favored Korean actor by fans of the Korean wave in the United States. With a combined total of 65 million followers, he is referred to as the king of social media. Military Enlistment Lee Min Ho began his mandatory military service on May 12, 2017, at the Saseo Social Welfare Center in Gangnam District Office as a public service officer. Lee was unable to serve as an active duty soldier due to a car crash in August 2006. He suffered another car wreck in 2011 while filming City Hunter. On March 15, 2018, Lee entered his military training at the Korea Army Training Center in Nansen, South Chungcheong Province. He returned to his public service duty after four weeks of basic military training. He was discharged on April 25, 2019. Career 2003 to 2008 beginnings lee started auditioning and landed minor roles in several television dramas such as non-stop five and recipe of love his official debut role was in an ebs series secret campus in 2003 early in his career 
Li went by the stage name Li Min because his agency thought his birth name was too ordinary. However, as his stage name was pronounced and written in the same way as the Korean word Imin, which means immigration, he later said it was difficult to find himself in internet search results. He eventually went back to using his original name. In 2006, his acting career was put on hold for a year following a serious car wreck, which occurred while riding in the back of a car with fellow actor Jung Il Woo. Their two friends riding in the front seat were killed instantly. Lee was severely injured and spent several months bedridden. Upon recovery, Lee received his first leading role in the high school drama Mackerel Run in 2007, but the series was reduced to only 8 episodes due to low viewership ratings. In 2008, he appeared in various roles on television, dramas Get Up and I Am Sam, and two movies, Public Enemy Returns and Our School's E.T. During the shooting of the latter, he became good friends with actor Kim Suaro, who later praised him on a variety show, I recognize a star when I see one. When I was doing our school's ET, I knew that Lee Min Ho would become one of the top actors in the country. 2009 to 2010, Breakthrough. Lee's breakthrough came in 2009 with the lead role of Gu Jun Pyo in KBS Boys Over Flowers, the Korean adaptation of the popular shoujo manga of the same name. Competition for the leading role was very intense and Lee only found out that he had been cast through the newspapers. The series attracted high viewership ratings and buzz throughout South Korea during its broadcast. Lee newfound popularity gained him many endorsement deals and created another Korean wave throughout Asia which made Lee a Hallyu star. In 2010, Lee starred in romantic comedy Personal Taste, in which he played a young architect who poses as a gay man to become roommates with a young woman, leading to romantic complications. When asked about why he chose the role during an interview, he responded I think I would do a better job playing heavy and more defined roles when I am older. I think personal taste was perfect because it is bright, cheerful but you can also laugh and cry over it as well. 2011 to 2013, International Fame In 2011, he played the titular character in action drama City Hunter, which was loosely based on Sakaza Hojo's popular manga. The drama was a commercial success and contributed to Lee's growing popularity, most notably in Japan, Philippines, China, and in France. He participated in a popular Chinese variety show Happy Camp in December 2011. In 2012, Lee starred in historical medical drama, Faith with Kim Hee Sun. Although the drama garnered viewership ratings around the 10% range, it was a commercial failure due to its high budget. In April 2013, Lee's wax figure was unveiled at the Madame Tussauds Shanghai. He then released his first album My Everything in May 2013 and went on a fan meeting tour in Asia. Lee also announced his return to television with a new drama titled The Heirs, a teen drama written by Kim Yoon Suk. On why he decided to take on the role of a chabel heir in high school four years after playing one in Boys Over Flowers, he answered before I grew past my twenties, I wanted to play a more upbeat character, one that would allow me to return to that feeling of simple, uncomplicated innocence that I had when I was younger. Premiering on October 9, 2013, the heirs enjoyed immense popularity both locally, with a peak rating of 28.6%, and internationally, having over 1 billion hits on the Chinese streaming website IKEA. Lee experienced an increase in his popularity, particularly in China. 2014, present, continued success. In January 2014, a second wax figure of Lee was unveiled at Madame Tussauds Hong Kong. On January 30th, Lee became the first Korean celebrity to perform on China CCTV Lunar New Year Gala. He sang a song with Harlem Yu, 
the original singer of the theme song of Meteor Garden, the Taiwanese version of Boys Over Flowers. He was also invited to the third conference of the South Korean Presidential Committee for Cultural Enrichment as the representative for the entertainment industry, to share and contribute to the discussion of issues related to developing Korea's cultural content. Lee received the Prime Minister's commendation at the 5th Korean Popular Culture and Arts Awards for his contribution to Hallyu. Lee subsequently recorded and released his second EP song for you in October 2014 under Universal Music. As with his previous album, he stated that the tracks were recorded for his fans and that he had no ambition to pursue a singing career. The album release coincided with the start of his Ri Minho fan meeting tour which spanned various Asian cities. He then took on a starring role in Yu Hazenwar action film Gangnam Blues in 2015, set in the 1970s when the real estate development boom swept across Gangnam area. The movie, which co-stars Kim Rae Won, marks Lee's first leading role in a feature film. In 2016, Lee starred in the action comedy Bounty Hunters, directed by Shin Tira. The film topped box office charts on its release date and went on to gross 31 million US dollars in China. Later in the year, Lee made his small screen comeback in the fantasy romance drama Legend of the Blue Sea alongside actress Jun Ji Hyun, which was a success. In 2019, Lee was cast alongside Kim Go Eun in the SBS broadcast and Netflix distributed romantic fantasy drama The King. Eternal Monarch written by the heirs writer Kim Yun soo It was hailed as one of the most anticipated series of the first half of 2020, serving as Lee's comeback series following his release from mandatory military service. The series set a record for SBS's highest 2020 Friday-Saturday drama premiere ratings and maintaining the number one spot on the weekly web drama chart for eight consecutive weeks but received mixed reviews and lower than expected domestic TV viewership ratings on later episodes compared to previous works by Kim Young soo In 2020, Lee was cast as the lead in Apple series Pachinko. Film and television series from 2003 to 2021. Web series music video Korea Power Celebrity from 2009 to 2021. Discography and single albums from 2013 to 2017. Singles and videography from 2009 to 2015. Film award from 2015 to 2016. Television award from 2009 to 2020. SBS Drama Awards and Seoul International Drama Awards from 2009 to 2020. Others awards from 2009 to 2016. Thank you.